Hello, Michella. What's the mood been like here at Tong this week following the disappointment against York on Sunday? Um, yeah, like I said, a bit disappointing. We were in Monday to review the game on, on Tuesday as well, and um, yeah, we've kind of put that to bed a bit now. We, we can't really dwell on it, uh, but obviously very disappointing. You know, just a bounce of the ball, I suppose. You know, we had a drop goal at the post and, and went out, and obviously they went up for the field and they hit one and it went in. So that's just rugby league, isn't it? Um, fair play to both teams. They they were really good on the day. So, um, but yeah, we've got to move on and look forward now. We've got five games to go and. Um, you know we want to be in the five, so we, we've got to do all we can, and hopefully rely on some other results as well. But yeah, look, first and foremost, we've got to do what we can, and we'll be doing that. It was a fantastic advert for the Betfred Championship. Four and a half thousand fans packed into Boovham Crescent, and the the game going right down to the hooter. Yeah, it was a great game. It were uh, really good, like we said in the build up. York did really well on selling it, getting the people through the gates, and um, obviously Bradford took a, took a fair few as well. So. Um, no, really good day, good good sunny day. I want it for people to watch and enjoy the rugby, and um, couldn't have gone any better, you know, for the spectator. Obviously, for us, we'd like to win, but um, no, that's so be it. But yeah, great day and a great advert for Championship rugby, like you said. And it's the, just one of many games which has been like that all year in the Championship, and it shows how good the standard is. Um, you know, they were second and we were sixth, I think, on the day. So it's just you know, there's not much between them sort of teams and um, yeah, there's five games to go and I'm sure in the, in the next five rounds there'll be other games like that. And that's what the focus is all about now, you've got a weekend off, uh, the first weekend off since the, the 6th of, of January as you build towards Toronto, how is this week end off, this blank weekend going to uh, assist you and the, the boys? Yeah it's massive for us, obviously we went on a, a cup run which which were, which were nice in itself but obviously that meant we haven't many uh, any, any weekends off since January the 6th when we had a packed pre-season schedule so I think it's well overdue personally and uh, you know sort of play welfare sort of thing we've played a lot of games a lot of minutes this year so it's it's well needed from and everyone's uh, quite happy about it don't get me wrong on the playing side of things and get away get away from rugby for the weekend refresh yourself and come back next week with a fresh attitude and ready to go for the for the next five games that we've got left in the league and hopefully we're in the five and we've got a couple more at the end of that as well but like I said we've just got these five that we need to really concentrate on and um, you know get maximum points. And that focus and preparation starts with the visit of Toronto to Odsall a week on Sunday? Yeah obviously it doesn't get uh, much easier does it than that, uh, much harder sorry than that. Uh, they've just won the, you know, finished top of the league. They, they lifted the league leaders at Widnes at the weekend, so um, rightly so, they're the best team in the league. Aren't they? So, it, like I said, it's going to be a tough challenge, um, no doubt about that. They've got world class players, in my opinion, and a world class coach. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how we go against them next week. But like I said, we've got ten points to play for, and we need all ten really. Uh, we can't really afford to slip up, and that means we'll have to rely on other other teams, which we are going to as well. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tough, but it, it, that's rugby league. How it could happen? Is that something that John Keir and you, as the playing group, have talked about? Starting with the visit of Toronto to Walsall, finishing the final five games of the season unbeaten. Yeah, it's, it's something that we might have to do if we want to get in the five, and if not, then we have to rely on other teams, and we don't really want to do that. Um, but yeah, we like I said, we we've got ten points to play for, and I think we need we're already behind by three, so you know we can't really afford to lose many games, if any. So um, yeah, we we're up against it, like that loss at York and the draw to Swinton, we dropped points there, so um, that means we can't really afford to drop points in the next five, and that you know like I said, we're gonna have to go all guns blazing and do everything we can to make sure we get 10 maximum points. And the visit to Toronto towards LA, you're really going to be testing yourself against some of the, the best players in the division and some might argue in Super League. Yeah, that's it. They've got world-class players all over the park um, and they're really well coached and you know it's a great great club in it, Toronto, what they've got going over there. and. Um, yeah, it's it's a challenge, but I, I quite like the challenges playing up against you know like John Wilkin. So sort of, it'll be my opposite man, and uh, I'm trying to learn off him myself as a player. So to actually go and play against him, it's quite it's quite a uh, it's a strange thing. Uh, but obviously, you know, we still believe that we can beat him because they are that you know people have beaten them. Toulouse beat them this year, so um, it's doable. But it's going to be very tough. Don't get me wrong, and we've got a lot of respect for them, and they're not top of the league for no reason. So. Um, we know we're all going to have to be 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 1 at 17 on the day. So, um, But I'm confident that you know we, we've got that in us. It's just whether we, we turn up and produce that. And what would a win do for the for the Bradford Bulls over Toronto? 
Um, it just instills some belief, I think. There'll be four games left after that. It's almost similar to the, the game we played against Leeds when probably everybody wrote us off and Leeds were the favourites in the cup and we turned up and beat them. But it's not just as easy as, oh, we've beat Leeds, we can beat Toronto because it's not, it doesn't work like that. The, you know, they're going to be fired up as well. They'll want to win and they don't want to slip up. They want to build some form, build it into the playoffs. So it's going to be tough and, um, yeah, it's a big challenge. But it's one of them challenges we're going to have to overcome if we want to be where we want to be.